Hello! Hi guys and happy Friday. I think it's pie day today, so happy pie day. And not pies in the food you eat. That would be awesome. But PI in terms of maths. So yeah, happy pie day. I want to talk about the Tube in London. If you don't know the Tube, that is basically the name for the underground service. It goes all over the city. There's lots of different lines, hundreds of different stops. It's pretty fantastic. But there are a few weird things that can happen on the Tube. Let's dive in. There's nothing like sitting on the tube next to somebody and then them falling asleep on your shoulder. It's different if you know the person and they fall on your, asleep on your shoulder, that's different. If it's someone you've never met before and they are asleep, like, all over you, do I wake this person up? What happens if they miss their stop? Are they going to blame me for missing their stop? Is it because my shoulders are just so comfortable? I don't know what I'm meant to do. Sometimes when you get on the tube there is an empty carriage maybe apart from one or two people. When you go and sit down, you got some free seats, yet someone will come over and sit next to you. There's a whole carriage of free seats, what are you doing? Get out of my free space. This happens a lot to me and it's kind of embarrassing because I'm not used to the tube just yet. Sometimes when you're going along and it's pitch black because in the tunnels under the city, the tube will slow down and I'll be like, yep, okay, this is my stop, I'll get up. I'll get up, someone will take my seat, then it will just speed up again and keep on going, there was no stop. And the amount of times this happens to me is embarrassing, and I just don't learn. Because there's no guides, there's no reference points for where you are on your journey. This is my big thing for Londoners if you're watching this, and you're on the escalator. The left side is for people who are walking up. Like if you're a couple, don't go right and left. You're blocking people. It clearly says, keep to the left hand side. Keep to the left hand side. In a carriage, you'll have lots of handrails to hold on to if you can't sit down. It can be an issue. The amount of times I've put my hand up to hold on and then suddenly I'm touching someone else's hand and there's a period where I don't know what to do. You just take your hand away, but if you take it away quickly, it's like you've gotten a fright, which is kind of rude to them, maybe a little bit. If you do it slowly, it's creepy. You obviously can't keep your hand there because that's worse. Sometimes you'll have your hand just holding on and someone will just lean against a handrail and trap your hand and suddenly you can't move. Eye contact is weird on the tube. If you're caught staring at somebody, you're stuck in the carriage for the whole time. You can't just leave. And there seems to be this thing where no one likes talking to each other or communicating or looking at each other. So you just don't look at anyone else, don't have any eye contact. The only time there's eye contact is when something happens, like maybe the train shuts down. Sometimes when you're on the tube, the person next to you could be reading a newspaper or a magazine. So you'll slyly look at their, you know, what they're looking at and you'll read. And then they turn the page and you can't finish. You can't finish the article, you know half the information. Sometimes you have to check what you're looking like. You have to check your hair. Now when sitting on the tube, you can kind of see yourself in the window opposite. But if you're looking at your hair and then the person you're sitting opposite notices you're doing it and then looks at you, it is terrible. To use the tube, a lot of people have oyster cards such as this one, this is mine. And so you swipe it and you put money on it and it's kind of an easy way of doing it. Gates to get into the underground system. Sometimes when you go through it, it comes up to seek assistance and everyone starts like going, oh, 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 this person, this person needs to seek assistance. It is very embarrassing. It's also difficult to work out what way the train's coming because you're kind of walking and kind of going all over the place to get to your platform. You're not quite sure, like I sometimes have to be at the front of the train, but which side is the front of the train? I don't know where to go. If I go to the far left, I could be at the back of the train, the train could come this way, but if I go to that side, the train could come that way. This has been me trying to describe the problems and annoyances of the tube. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that kind of stuff. I've got links where I am, like my Tumblr, my Instagram, my Twitter, everything's underneath, so check that out. And I'll have another video on Tuesday. Until then, have a lovely day.